Hi, my name is Jason Pierce. I'm the Scout Executive CEO of the Lincoln Heritage Council, and I've got our Council CFO, Chief Fund Officer, Sarah Flowers. She's our Program Director for the Council, and this is a special message to our favorite program, Cub Scouting. And so it's a message to the parents and the Cub leaders. We want to say thank you for staying with Scouting through these difficult, unprecedented times. We also want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing to make sure we have a fun, safe summer for our favorite program, Cub Scout. So Sarah, would you tell us a little bit about what we're doing, the committee you've created, and what, what plans are in motion? Sure. So we have a couple of options for our Cub Scout families this summer. We always have our Cub Scout Day Camp program, which is our five-day program that's typically during the day. And then we have our Cub and Weeblos Overnight program, which happens typically at Tunnel Mill and the Pfeffer Scout Reservation. So we're still planning and preparing for that. We have a wonderful group of day camp directors and program directors who have been working very hard. Uh, we had our day camp directors meeting via Zoom this month, so it was very fun. Uh, but they're working very hard to plan a good program for our families and our scouts. So we're continuing to plan, albeit it might look a little different whether it be a different schedule, different location, or maybe even a different week or time, we are working with those folks to make sure that we have a safe program for our day campers. For our Cub and Weeblos resident camp program, we're working with our resident camp staff. They are super excited. Hopefully you guys have caught some of our tunnel mill videos uh, that they've been doing with our pins and our belt loops. I love the science videos, <laughs> STEM. <laughs> it was a lot of fun and they had a great time doing it. And they've used that as part of their staff development to help prepare for these kiddos to come too because those are the same counselors that are going to be teaching it this summer. So it's been a great opportunity for them to kind of get a lesson plan learned that also. Um, so they're still planning. We're still meeting virtually for that. Again, it might look a little different. The schedules might be a little bit different, but we're still excited and planning for a great, safe, and exciting summer for those kids. Tell us a little bit about the committee, the health advisory committee you've put together to help guide some of these tough decisions. Yes, yeah, so we have put together a health advisory committee that's made up of seven individuals, uh, all scouters, Eagle Scouts, parents of scouts, uh, have been in scouts for a long time, and they are also health care providers. So we have a health, we have an office admi or a hospital administrator, we have doctors, nurses, ER doctors, we have a biosafety engineer uh, who's all been helping us to guide us in making the safest and best decision we can for our families and our campers. So it's been a great group of people, and they've uh, been a wonderful support for us. Yeah, well, that's great. So our, to our Cub Scout family, we just want to say, scout on, stay safe. Uh, use our Scout at Home link on our council webpage for resources for Cub Scouting and activities and advancements that can be earned from home. But as you can see, it's a beautiful day and we're excited about getting the Cub Scouts out of the house into that great summer program they've been looking for. But we're only gonna do it when it's a safe, fun, great experience for these young people. And these are unprecedented times. There's no playbook for this, no handbook for this. But we've got a great team of folks and Sarah's leadership to make sure we do an amazing program for these young people. And we're thinking very creative. I think you're gonna be excited about we're prepared, what we're prepared to roll out, hopefully the first part of May. Uh, so more to come on that. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for scouting and scout on.